why white women are jealous of black women. <clears throat> um, me stating why many white women, or most white women, um, are in fact jealous of black women. So, um, as you can maybe guess, I got a lot of heat for the video. Mm. A lot of butthurt white people. Um, Fill the room with the juice. So that's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit fire. Uh, yeah, she kind of cute. Don't need any more big shots. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, this premise, okay? I've had friends in the past tell me exactly what makes them jealous of black women but not all of them not all of them have this discussion not all of them feel that way you know what i mean but i have had this conversation so i'm curious to see what this woman has to say obviously i will have all the links below if you'd like to watch it yourself however right now we're at what 214,000 views okay girl let's see what's going on here cha 18k up likes and 454 dislikes okay and this came out in november oh november 3rd okay so this is literally like not not that long ago so let's hear what she has to say i have some water feel free to go get you some because child this is gonna be 14 minutes so let's hear it <coughs> with no further ado like sis what you talking about nicole and welcome to another video um I normally don't make English content on my YouTube, but uh, this video was actually inspired by a TikTok friend of mine. Um, her name is Waffles Only Sis, <laughs> and um, she, she actually asked me to make this video because a video of mine, a TikTok video of mine, went viral, and the video was literally all about um, me stating why many white women, or most white women, um, are in fact jealous of black women so um as you can maybe guess i got a lot of heat for the video mm. a lot of butthurt white people Ooh. um try to make me understand mm. try to make me believe that what i'm saying comes from a point of like i'm literally ju uh, judging myself i'm saying i am jealous of black women that's why all white people are jealous of black women which is definitely not the point um even if i was um everybody is at one point in their life always jealous of something or of somebody but that's not the issue the issue is that what i said comes from historical facts it's not as if i pulled this out of my thumb and i felt like let me just put this on tiktok actually the video was like a stitch um i saw a, a black woman and she literally said why do y'all hate black women so much and um before i even go into it i want to keep this as short as possible <laughs> this time before i even go into it i want to say that you are only jealous of someone you can never be like like if someone is out of your reach um that can be financially socially economically um visually ethnically it can have so many um reasons if somebody is out of your reach for you you always react with jealousy sometimes consciously and some sometimes subconsciously but it's always a point of, I wish I was that person. I wish I had that, that person's money, car, house, face, body, eyes, ears, character, whatever. Jealousy always comes from a point of not being able to be like the person we, uh, or the person in question. Okay? Envy. So Envy. I actually wrote Envy. some things down. Go ahead, girl. Because, of course, before I made that video, of course I did my research. And um, Period. the thing is, um, starting, for example, with with um, fashion that was very modern in the 1700s, um, women used to dress in a way that they used to carry, like 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 a, a pillow. pillow. It's not. It wasn't technically a Busto? pillow. It was like a foam something in their behind to make their butt appear a lot bigger. You better stop now, playing with me. If you are looking at the physics on of a white woman and the physics of a black woman. Of course, always under the prescription, under the thought that not every woman is the same. Even different um, ethnicities have so many shades, so many skin tones. White isn't white, black isn't black. Other than that, nobody is really black, nobody is really white. I'm speaking from a point that this is common sense. If it isn't to you, please check yourself first before coming for me. Um, that one being said, 
of course every woman's physics or every woman's body shape is different but there are certain features that are attached to certain ethnicities mm -hmm. and of course black women are known for having beautiful full lips um very sharp facial features they are known for their jawline for their nose bones for the the, the hips of their nose is it called hips of the nose i guess you know what i mean no, the boy. sharp <laughs> eyebrows um they are known for their hips and the hourglass figure that's absolutely trendy now, that is, is everywhere. Um, some years back, you Child. would still be bullied if you had a big butt. You now, better stop. Everybody wants a big butt. You butt-butt. better preach. And the media have the caucasity <laughs> to blame this on people like the Kardashians <laughs> that are literally the, the human definition of copying black women. You better stop blaming me. Um, I used to get bullied for having a big shape. butt all it's the time. Ridiculous is um, the the eyebrow lift many of us are getting the fa the face contouring right. we are getting people ask me if i've had my face done Child, who has the money who i don't i don't our ethnicity these are things that of course there are always exceptions just like there are black women with small lips black women with flat butts every like i said in the beginning everybody is different mm. but that now we stand in like i said there are certain um, features certain looks that are designed or that are known to be often seen in black women mm. black people in general mm. so now thanks to social media mm. we have a whole new word for that which is called black fishing um, that's like I'm not even going to explain this because I'm not black obviously and I'm not in the position of explaining what black people are going through. I'm just speaking from my perspective as a white woman. Um, black fishing is exactly what we've been doing since we came to recognize the fact that black women have what we can never achieve hmm. naturally. Hmm. Because surgery has just been around for a few years now. So, and it's been hyped and it's having a, like a boom in the last maybe like five years. There about, I can't really say because... I, my ass is not, I don't have that kind of beautiful hour, hourglass figure. I'm, dead. I'm not even going to lie. If I had the coins, I'm, I will go for that because it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> um, of course, that's jealousy, by the way. We need to redefine what jealousy really is. When I see a woman, I see her and I'm like, I wish, I wish I had the money to have this body. Better yet, I wish I was blessed with this body naturally. Mm. That's already jealousy. We are seeing jealousy as something that's so negative because most of the time jealousy is followed by hate but i can be jealous of somebody and still admire that person and adore that person for that still wish i had it i don't have it i can still love myself man i'm still beautiful i love the way i look i love who i've become uh, i'm still a work in progress that doesn't stop me from loving who i am now that doesn't mean that I cannot look at another woman and be like, damn girl, you're fine. I wish I had your body. <laughs> um, that's because I'm apparently okay with myself. So if you're at a point where you're not okay with yourself and you have every reason for your own, in your own thinking, you have a reason to be hating on other people because you're so desperately um, not comfortable in your skin, it's your problem, not theirs. <laughs> Check yourself. So um, then another thing is that... Okay not only the copying it is the social safety and social standard we enjoy for um appropriating black cultures that starts with the hair i have years back before i came to realize that it's wrong i used to wear braids even here in germany i still do wear braids whenever we travel to nigeria for the plain fact that hey, it's part of their culture he goes to nigeria. my husband's culture to um have your hair braided during Christmas. I'm the only white woman in the family. Yes, I can baby. never ever be this disrespectful and be like, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's part of the family, so I'm doing okay, it when I'm cool. in that environment, not when I'm here. I like However, you. years back, I used to do it. I always got compliments for my hair mm -hmm. from black people, from white people. Mm -hmm. um, I have so many black uh, women as friends, and I know what they go through. I know the discrimination they face because of if they carry their natural hair, mm -hmm. if they have their hair braided. The only time when they are accepted in society, and I mean like absolutely accepted to an extent that they can be tolerated, notice tolerance is an acceptance, and both of them don't mean that they are valued and that they are appreciated. Those are different adjectives altogether. So um, 
where black women wear their braids is a problem. They wear their afro is a problem. They don't get jobs. They don't get apartments. They don't even get simple human rights because of their identity. But if we go and wear braids or wear native African clothes, um, if we go and have an aggressive tan, we are never going to be questioned. That's mm. white privilege. And that's why we can freely copy black women for everything they naturally are and reap benefits and even get praised on top of mm. what another person's discrimination is all about. Mm -hmm. So how can we comfortably sit and be like, um, I'm wearing braids because it's only hair? Mm. No, it's not only hair. It's another person's daily struggle mm. because it's their culture and they're not free to express it. Mm. Meanwhile, you, Karen, and you, Becky, you right. go out, wear the braids, get praises, right. and absolutely do nothing against the discrimination of black women. Right. Also. Um, that's very true. That's the acceptance of compliments. There ain't no way I'm getting braids. I already know. I already without know. correcting that, oh, can't thank have it you. like that no more. This is actually I a wish, but this it's is just... actually we are not even ready to question our own white privileges. That's why we just are able to be like crazy there so that we can comfortably cultural appro culturally appropriate another person's identity. We are using these um, statements to make ourselves comfortable while. We know that we are doing the wrong thing. Mm. We know. Deep down, we know. We just don't want to say it out because we want to reap the benefits. Um, that's a very, very um, current example is actually the snuggly baby carrier. If you're done with this video and you have gotten to this point, um, why don't you Google um, what Google tells you about the snuggly baby carrier. That was loud. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently, Google says that a white woman discovered the snuggly baby carrier. Meanwhile, women in today's Tanzania, Namibia, Angola, Congo, um, literally the whole southern part of Africa, downwards of Cameroon downwards, have been carrying their children like this ever since they came to existence. Hmm. And white supremacy mm. and white privilege made mm. it possible for a white woman to reap benefits of, of something not only benefits in the form of praises we are talking about money we are talking about recognition mm -hmm. we are talking about um getting compliments and getting praises for something she had absolutely no hand in she literally saw it when the native um, africans did it and still do it up to today she saw it appropriated it made it her own, made it known in the, in, the, in the white man's world, in the Western world, and got credit for it. And she's at fault because she failed to recognize the black woman as its origin. She failed to recognize the black woman as the origin of humanity, point one, and the origin of the idea she stole from that woman. Man, all of us went to school. If you go to school and do this kind of crap, you will fail every single available class. Mm. But if you're white and you're grown and mm. you steal from black people, mm. you get medial recognition, you get money, True. you get praises. True. That's white privilege. True. And that's only possible in a form of white supremacy because we keep it alive. Whenever we appropriate a black woman's identity, culture, heritage, her entire being, her entire identity, mm. without giving her credit, without making sure that she can carry the same thing we are carrying out her house without ever being discriminated once, we are guilty. Mm. And that's all. That's it. It's pretty damn simple. If you only make your research of it, if you only read about it, if you only listen to what black people tell you. Mm. Because I'm here telling you this, but um, a million black people have told you this before. Right. You just didn't listen. I'm literally, that's I'm the like, point. We just don't listen. Right. So whenever we appropriate, we technically know that's not our own because we are not that dumb. I mean, I want to believe that we are not that dumb to really think that we invented box parades and that we invented big butts and tiny hips and um, mm -hmm. full lips in the name of lip fillers. I really want to believe that we are not that dumb to believe mm -hmm. that we invented something that black people have been having For long before years. white people even existed, which is only around 8,000 years anyway. <laughs> so if you look at humanity and Let the it be known, baby. And, um, where humanity was like 10,000 years ago, mm. you know that black people were already civilized. They already built empires when we didn't even exist and that's a pain in the ass for the average white person because mm. we have a huge problem with giving black people the credit they deserve because we so desperately want to be what we can never be a copy will forever be a copy and i'm sitting here telling you this from a point of please change
please let us change because this is wrong we whitewashed history we whitewashed humanity we whitewashed achievements globally and then be like um i never had slaves so i cannot be racist mm. that does not work it can never work and i keep saying it the karma that we are going to get whenever black people are fed up which by the way i don't know why they are not already to an mm -hmm. extent of fighting back and taking back the history we stole from them by force only god knows why well we all know why that's because western oppression is still very much working mm -hmm. but every system is designed to fall one day mm -hmm. so uh <laughs> silence is acceptance that's all i got to say mm -hmm. so Please do your research. Please protect black people around you. Use your privilege for good. If you don't, you're guilty. Period. Thank you, baby. Glad I don't have to tell you. Glad I don't have to tell you myself. She said it for me. She said it for me because I, I, I am in, sometimes I'm in experiences and situations where I, it's just like, why are these white people saying the N word so much? You know, why? Why do they feel the need to immediately do whatever to get some sort of acceptance by me? Like, or, or I've been in situations where somebody introduced me and they're introducing me to another white person and the white person feels the need to say, oh, she's cool, she's cool. Yeah, 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 this is Pearl. Pearl, uh, this is da, 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 da. And it's like, it's like they're looking at each other like, and they both have to, you know, like have this like, non-verbal like oh this is no she's cool she's you know what i mean it's like if, you, if i if put it in slow-mo it's, it's really rude but i mean at the same time it's just there's so many little like microaggressions and just and just so much like random oppression that you see in just different scenarios of life that you just really can't do or say much about it because for me i feel like most of the solutions that we're looking for and asking for they happen today they happen with the present and it's not gonna change until that time has passed so whatever we're thinking the world should be or could be isn't gonna happen in our lifetime most likely you know what i mean and having that like thought and understanding the bigger picture of it will will make it to where you don't really care i i, I don't i don't know like that's kind of how i am it's like i care but i also don't care to the extent of you know talking about every single story that involves like race you know like i'm not gonna do that because i just feel like at the same time it's like everything she just said is her telling me my life on a day-to-day -day basis you, you know what i mean like do i want that to be jargoned into my brain every single day probably not you know like because it's already doing that just living in america alone as a black person that's already happening so just keep in mind that when black people are talking about these things it's not that we're like screaming for help but we're screaming to educate the others that are not listening the ones that just for some reason ain't hearing none of this at all or they may not even want to like you know watch a video like this because it's just like i don't need to watch a video like this because i'm not jealous and i don't really it makes me uncomfortable and i don't want to think about it and, da, 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 da. and i'm just like okay so again you're hiding from it. And it, I just, I don't know. It, 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 it becomes one of those situations where just like she said, I'm telling you something that has been said before. However, you just didn't listen because it was them saying it instead of me, which is correct. Her influence and her privilege just alone by her skin color will attract more people alone. If she was black, I guarantee you there wouldn't even be that many views. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I guarantee you. And if they were, they would. it would be, a completely different ratio people would be coming for her like oh my god why would you think something like this like i understand what you're saying but can you like at least try to be on everybody's side like we got to be females together like female empowerment like i can already see it you know what i mean but see at this perspective is it seems as if she's what she's educating those who do not listen to this broken record which i now sound like and i'm done sounding like it so anyways let me know what y'all thought about this video down below in the comment section i think nicole did a terrific job i'm definitely subscribing and liking if you would like to do so with my channel obviously all of that is below if you'd like to do it with her channel i will put everything in the description other than that i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video clearly yeah Spending the life, 12 for a squat, busting all the bells out the box, hit the lift with the box.